Hello, I'm Connie Fanders. And I'm Nina McVeigh. And today, Nina, we're going to talk about machine applique. And sometimes, you know, when you machine applique, turning those corners can be difficult. As you can see here, when you get to that point, whether you're using a blanket stitch or a satin stitch or a ladder type stitch, which I did here, sometimes you will get an overlap of the stitches. Therefore, your corner doesn't look real pretty. So here I've drawn an example of exactly what I'm talking about. If this was a blanket stitch that I was actually stitching, coming along the side here, it's very easy. And then I get to the point here where I want to drop my needle and pivot my fabric. Well, when I pivot and I take the next stitch, it's going to overlap. It that. crosses over. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And as I said, it isn't a very pretty corner. So to eliminate this problem and have nice corners, Bernina has a feature on some of their machines called tapering. Mm -hmm. And what the tapering will do, the tapering stitch, you see how it tapers the ends here? So as I pivot my fabric, and I go around the corner, those stitches match perfectly, and I don't have that overlap. So I'm going to show you how I did the tapering mm -hmm. stitch, but before we go to the machine, let me talk a little bit about how I prepared my fabric for the pillow. When you applique, typically you want to put a stabilizer on the back of your fabric. And on this project, I decided I didn't want to have mm -hmm. that heavier st stabilizer on the back. So what I chose to do is I first started with a product called Tereo Magic, and I sprayed it onto the top of my fabric. And what this does, it's, it's like a, a starch, basically, mm -hmm. and it, it um, replaces a stabilizer underneath your fabric. So it gives you the stability, that you need when you're applicating so you will not have those puckers. Very nice. Then also on the back of my fabric, I chose to iron on a fusible fleece. And again, what I used here was a product from OESD, the fusible fleece, and it just irons onto the back of your fabric, again, just to give it some stability, Yes, yet it is still very soft does not add any stiffness to the pillow. So to begin with, I am going to measure the one side of my hexagon, which is 37 millimeters. Then I go to my machine and I will select the tapering program. And there is a variety of stitches that you can use for tapering. I'm going to use stitch number 1422. I then go into the information tab and I am first going to tell the machine that I want the hexagon shape. Next, I want to tell the machine my 37 millimeters in length, which is the length of my side. I can simply move it up or down, but I want 37 millimeters. Then I'm going to make sure that my needle will stop in the down position. And I also want to move my needle position over to the left so that the inside toe of my foot lines up perfectly with the inside or the outside edge of my decorative stitch. To begin to sew, I'm going to lower my foot and position my fabric so that my needle is going to drop right down into the corner of my hexagon. And then I will begin to sew. And you can see it's sewing at a tapered angle to begin with. The machine will sew the decorative stitch that I have chosen until it gets to the 37 millimeters in length and then it will automatically stop. I put the machine with the needle in the down position so then I simply pivot my fabric and I do the next side. I stitch the next side until the machine stops, the needle goes into the fabric, and I pivot. Mm -hmm. 
I'm so happy with this tapering stitch that Bernina now has in the machine. It's perfect on almost any shape. It is, and that's why I love it so much too. If you would like to learn more about the tapering function on the Bernina machines, visit your local Bernina dealer today.